Also tonight we are hearing for the first time how the wife of one of the victims reacted to the unfortunate news that her husband was dead and hearing the names of the other two people who never left that UPS building. WIET 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan sat down for an exclusive one on one interview with Tiffany Hutchison. Mike joins us live with more on her perspective. Tiffany Hutchison tells us she is angry, she is sad, and she is numb. And she said without going into too much detail, Tuesday wasn't the first time she'd heard the name Joe Tesney. Hearing that her husband, Doug, had died side by side with Brian Callens describes the way they lived their lives. Tiffany Hutchison says that she was stunned to hear about the shooting, but she was not surprised when she heard law enforcement identified the suspect as Joe Tesney. And as soon as she heard the name of one victim in the shooting, she suspected immediately that she knew the other. They were very close outside of work, and Brian was Doug's mentor at UPS. Yeah, that I, I, I was not surprised. Um, you know, when you when you see it uncover on the news, um, you kind of assume. But I never thought Doug would be on the other side. Tiffany says their church in Margaret has been very supportive and are helping them out with food expenses. She says there are two fundraiser sites set up through GoFund.com. One is for Doug Hutchison and the other is for Brian Callens. Tiffany Hutchison warns that they believe a, a third possibly unauthorized site has been set up. That site is on a different website. That fund rather is on a different website and that fund uses both of the names together so they do not recommend that one. Live in Birmingham, Mike McClanahan, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.